Welcome to the George Show, special episode with Gloco. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Gloco. <laughs> Gloco is the guy who started his gaming house, which we helped fund, along with many of you who donated to him. Today, we're going to hear his story. Gloco, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Okay, so guys, I am known as the, probably the craziest Filipino gamer in YouTube right now. I'm here, uh, I'm now around close to 40,000 subscribers. I started with Freedom two years ago and now I'm here and it, feel, it feels really great. And now thanks to you guys who helped out the Pinoy squad, we're now building a gaming house just to make more content for you, the supporters of the Pinoy squad. Yeah. Didn't know he has a gaming house? Click that eye to see the video where you get to see his reaction to getting funded when I made that final donation. Now, tell us a little bit about what you're going to do with the gaming house. What are you going to play there? How many people are going to be there? And is it full time? Okay, so first off, uh, the game. Uh, what we are going to do there will be more... Uh, I've been doing gaming videos for the past two years. Now, in this gaming house, although it is a gaming house, we're not just gonna concentrate on gaming videos. We're gonna go for what's actually really trendy right now in the geek community. We're gonna do some reviews about maybe te tech reviews, uh, anime reviews, and also some comedy skits, social experiments that's also, that's also related to something more geeky, like, like anime social experiments or video game social experiments. And also almost everything that we've wanted to do in the past, that we have, we weren't able to do. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna throw all our ideas there in content creation, and then we're just gonna surprise you guys with all the crazy stuff we're gonna do. So that's what. <laughs> when that's is the gaming thing. house gonna launch? Okay, so the gaming, um, according to my landlords, constructing the house right now, it's probably going to take uh, from now three weeks, and then it's gonna be done. I'm gonna go there again to give you guys an update. And uh, we're planning to move in to the gaming house around uh, end of October or maybe first week of November. And that's where we're gonna start operations right away. How many of you have the dream <clears throat> of having a gaming house? Many of you think, that's impossible, I can't do it. Well, Gloco is your motivation because he's done it from very humble beginnings mm -hmm. to now a channel with 40K subscribers. Gloco, when you started, what did you have in terms of subscriber count, uh, okay. view count? <laughs> so just a little backstory, guys. So I uh, actually didn't know anything about being a YouTuber. I just watched a lot of, of other YouTubers like PewDiePie and all, all that. And I, I saw the chance that they're doing something really, really fun and they're making a difference in the world right now it's by entertaining people. So right after college, I graduated from nursing, passed the boards, but I went straight to YouTube with no knowledge at all. But during my beginnings, what I did was I researched a lot, which is really important, research a lot. Everything that I didn't know before, I had to research that from scrap and then apply it to my own ideals. And then I, and it just came to just making a video. My first video was just something like a, like a prototype. I spread it around to my friends, shared it, asked for some reviews about it, their feedback, and then from those feedback, I tried to improve myself before I actually fully launched my channel. And then once I thought that I was really ready, I just gave my 100%. All of my videos, everything, all my beginnings, I gave my 100% to it, and then just hope <laughs> that uh, people would actually watch it. But it didn't really, uh, but sad reality, like guys, um, even if you make, give your 100% in making those content, you really have to uh, spread it around. And during my beginnings, maybe half of my day was uh, done for, uh, was given for content creation. And then half of my day was really spent on spreading around my content, sharing it on Facebook, joining different groups, and telling my other my other classmates or friends like, can you spread this around? And then it's um, so I was just r really confident with my content, but uh, I still lack the advertisement and the um, the factor of just making people know about it. 
So uh, that's for those who are starting right now as a YouTuber, you'll probably experience the same thing. But the most important thing that kept me going, because even it was, it was really hard at first, but really what kept me going was just the fun of doing it. You have to really have fun doing stuff, doing your content, and also you have to really work hard in advertising that, okay? It's gonna take a lot of your time, but it's gonna be really worth it. Some people stop halfway through, I didn't. I just went through it and then I just thought that maybe in the long run, it's gonna do something. So just believe in yourself. If you're confident with what you have, just keep going and you'll be rewarded. Never give up. Exactly, <laughs> never give up. I keep hearing that every time when I was, uh, when I was starting off with freedom and then that really kept me going, guys. So everything that George has shared to everyone for the past two years, I applied that and this is where I've I, I've gone into, okay, and I'm having the time of my life, like seriously. <laughs> yeah, Gloco is one of the first examples that I get to see in person who's done, who's made the dream happen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he went from doing a job that he didn't particularly love. Mm -hmm. uh, Gloco taught English online yeah. <laughs> to Japanese students, mm -hmm. to quitting that and starting gaming full time three months ago. Just three months ago. He's a full time gamer for just three months. And how much are you making from your YouTube channel? Is it enough to pay um, your bills? It's enough to pay my bills. Just just my bills <laughs> for now. And then um but uh well cost of living here is that is not that not that high. But yeah guys, um during my past uh, my past earnings from YouTube I was able to pay my bills and I was able to also pay for my food and everything else but it's not really uh, what do you call it, enough to do some other luxurious things but it's okay all right that's what you're building it up to okay so that's why once I knew that I can pay my bills with my YouTube earnings uh, the only thing left was to just keep making content and keep growing Okay. So like what George said, I taught English to Japanese students for maybe when I was starting as a YouTuber. Uh, when I'm rendering a video, I will do my job and then it's, uh, it's a sad reality, but you really need to support yourself as well if, you're, if you plan to be an independent creator. So yeah, humble beginnings, but it was all worth it. <laughs> So I have some suggestions. Mm -hmm. I've shown you, Gloco, mm -hmm. the office. Yes, I did. And we have awesome. lots of empty space. Yeah, <laughs> a lot, guys. It's really big. This office is really big, guys. So of course we want to fill it, not just mm -hmm. with developers, mm -hmm. but also people who make content. Mm -hmm. We have several rooms that are dedicated to mm -hmm. uh, being a green room, mm -hmm. where it's got like soundproofing, it has uh, a camera, everything is in green, so mm -hmm. you can just sit down and start live streaming or sit down and start making a video. Mm -hmm. Why not spend some of your time here? Ooh. Spend my time, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I spend my time, like, uh, I come visit and then do stuff or work here. Not, not what? Bigger, what? Bigger. <laughs> I have another camera here, but what are you trying to say, George? <laughs> well, we've always wanted to find people mm -hmm. who've done it, just like mm -hmm. you have, mm -hmm. and then hopefully ask them to come here to build a team mm -hmm. of not just their own friends, like mm -hmm. you're doing, mm -hmm. but actually be the role model that would allow other aspiring Ooh. gamers and video creators to come here on maybe what we can call a scholarship oh. and be the role model that you just described but doesn't so it doesn't have to be that hard for the next person yeah in other words if we see someone mm -hmm. someone maybe like you who's watching this video who has a lot of potential who can be the next gloco but doesn't really have like two years to invest maybe we can fast track that Mm -hmm. If we can give you a content creator scholarship to come here 
to spend at least six months to try to make it work with oh. our help, with our support, with our promotional power, so that you could become self-sufficient in a lot less time. No. Okay, so th just to make them realize right away all of those two years of experience and then just drive it into them and then make them realize their potential right away, something like that? Think of it like the content creator's boot camp. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like if, let's say, one of you who's watching feels you could be a deserving member of this boot camp, send us your info down there in the comments below. Gloco and I will decide if anyone is deserving based on your channel, based mm -hmm. on what we see uh, you've already done because we want people who are really trying on their own and just not able to get there yet, then we may invite you, if we do this, mm -hmm. to come here and do it full time for which we will cover your expenses, the scholarship idea, right? Because we would want another GLOCO to come out of this exercise and then maybe we'll start a whole school for content creators so that they can get to self-sufficiency, they can get to a point where their channel pays their bills once they graduate mm -hmm. from here in less time than they could on their own. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so I haven't told this to Gloco yet. Yeah. This is the first time he's hearing it. It's like, I'm really confused right now. Like, I have a lot of ideas in my head. Like, oh. so, so the suggestion mm -hmm. as your first question was, what exactly am I mm -hmm. thinking of? Yeah. <laughs> is why not be one of the founding members of this scholarship where you and the Pinoy squad would be doing your videos and your content from here, mm -hmm. as well as your gaming house. Mm -hmm. But with the goal of trying to find other people who we could mentor, train, mm, support, yeah. that we would help pay for so that they could come here and do this full time mm -hmm. and see what happens. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome, guys. I'm willing to do it, guys. Okay, actually, really, as a content creator myself, uh, I know just how hard it is to start off and uh, I know a lot of you guys are really struggling right now, but guys, if I can help out in any way I can, I will. And that's actually what building this freedom is all about, guys. We're growing as a community, as a family. So as a freedom family member, I am willing to do what I can to help you guys out, okay? Just as long as you also give us your 100% dedication to the effort we're gonna give if ever so. so when I was speaking to Gloco before I started this video I learned that he is full-time but not all of his members are and they're still working towards paying bills through part-time work mm -hmm. so that they could focus on creating content and growing their channel uh, and eventually go full-time so if we do this mm -hmm. why don't we start with the people you feel are most deserving in your squad mm -hmm. that we could have as the initial scholarship uh, fund that would also give you the motivation to um, to try to do this for others because mm -hmm. we'll start with the people that are most dear to you okay. <laughs> and then try to open it up to more. It's awesome. It sounds awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up for it. I'm really up for it. I'll go talk to the people that I know, and then we'll see what we can do. <laughs> okay. Right so my thinking would be, um, there's of course places that we could rent here in Eastwood. Mm -hmm. So you could actually live within like five minutes walking distance oh. from all the production space. So mm -hmm. literally, you could have your production space here. We can't sleep on this floor, but yeah. <laughs> we can walk downstairs into the next mm -hmm. building and sleep mm -hmm. there. Oh, okay. And then come here to work, go there to sleep, eat once in a while, mm -hmm. and then see how quickly we can grow content audiences and train people up. That would be awesome. <laughs> That's, whoa. That's right. I'm gonna 
I, I'll have to talk to those people first, but I'm up for it. Like if it if it if it if freedom covers everything, then and then we can just concentrate on content creation. Then I think we can really actually do it. I think we can. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I definitely believe we can do this, guys. So here's some more specifics of things I think mm -hmm. we would want to do. So one would be set the goal. What's the goal? Mm -hmm. The goal is to help as many of you achieve independence. Do this full time if that's what you want to do. In order to do that, you don't just need motivation from Gloco. Mm -hmm. You also need training. You also need real advice and real feedback. So one suggestion I would have is we would have maybe a dedicated time mm -hmm. every week or even every day mm -hmm. where we would take a deserving person and let's say they're not here, mm -hmm. but we would still give them training. training yeah. And we could do perhaps a regular live stream where anyone can sit in and watch us do the training because that probably would apply to your channel as well. Mm -hmm. So like one of the segments would be like video school. Yeah, okay, like and we interview some person and then ask their, ask their problem, something like that. You remember those videos where someone comes to a house that's mm -hmm. like run down and then uh, they yeah. say, we're going to do a home makeover. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to fix okay. your roof. We're going to fix uh -huh. your driveway. We're going to fix your internals. We'll buy you new furniture mm -hmm. because we believe you're a deserving family mm -hmm. that just needs a little help to get back on your feet kind of idea for a channel that uh -huh. we would do a, like a channel makeover. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So of course not, we can't bring everyone here, but we can do, part of our time would be to spend, to find deserving channels and give them that makeover, the mm -hmm. personal attention, do some, um, do some collaboration videos where we would uh, make videos on our channels and we would make videos on their channels because what's the fastest way to grow on YouTube? Collaboration. <laughs> guys. As well as improving banners and thumbnails and social media. But the key would be we would collaborate with deserving people to help accelerate their growth. Uh, that would be one idea we would do, like a training sec session. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we would have like a regular schedule where we would do uh, like gaming videos, mm -hmm. um, you know, do live streaming. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's the fun part. And then I'm also thinking we should be responsible in terms of health. Uh, yeah, as well, your lifestyle and stuff. So we would have a segment dedicated to fitness. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be good. Where we could set challenges to say like, all right, we need a benchmark. How many push-ups can you do? probably do around 20 right, <laughs> right? <laughs> percent so then we would do a challenge with everyone let's say everyone needs to submit a video of them doing as many push-ups as they can in one setting mm -hmm. and that will be the benchmark mm -hmm. and then we will make videos of us exercising regularly on a schedule which we would ask you the audience to follow so when we're exercising you're exercising and then every so often, we'll do that challenge again. All right, let's do the push-up thing again. How many push-ups can you do now? Uh, and then we go higher and higher. And then we see the yeah. growth, see the growth. So I've actually already started doing that myself. And I used to only be able to do like, like 15 push-ups. Uh, but now I'm up to 30. And I hope to eventually get to like 50 and then 100. But that'll be a long time coming. Uh, but I haven't been filming myself. So one idea would be that. Uh, we would have the education, we'd have the live streaming mm -hmm. for gaming, and we'd have the fitness mm -hmm. segment. Again, with the intention of involving the audience, encouraging them to do the same videos, exactly. and have everyone get fit together. That's cool. <laughs> Another idea. Uh, what other ideas do you have that you think mm. we could do as part of the schedule? Okay, as part of the schedule, well, of course I think, what would be a nice one? Mm. I think just something that just give the video something that you're thankful for for the day and just to keep you keep your spirits up like some people uh, wake up every day they th uh, but the first thing they, they think of is like the negative stuff but when during the past days what I do is that when I wake up 
I video some, uh, not really video, but I find something to be proud of or find something to be happy about. And then uh, I think once another suggestion would be like to share. Like, so one, one thing about my channel is that when I started as a YouTube content creator, I wanted to share my happiness. So part of my plans in the future as well as like a daily vlog of stuff that makes me happy, something like so something that can motivate others. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, video yourself trying to do something that makes you happy and something that you think will also make people happy if ever. Uh, just yeah. share the happiness to everyone, spread it around, keep the spirits up. Yeah, and that can be different for each person. Mm -hmm. Everyone would have something else they're thankful for, yeah, exactly. but it can resonate with others watching. Mm -hmm. So if you have enough people saying enough personal stories, you're going to mm -hmm. cover most yeah. everyone. Because if, let's say, you were just talking about it, you may mm -hmm. not resonate with everyone, but mm -hmm. maybe another person would. So that's a good idea. I, uh, I would certainly j join in with that <laughs> kind of um, personal, what motivates me, what excites me, why do I get up in the morning, um, exactly. what, am I, what am I thankful for? And I'm thinking maybe in the future, uh, if this goes well, mm -hmm. is we could even create like a school where we could have like a attendance of 20 that oh. people can sign up for and do this kind of training as part of uh, a course. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could work with a local school if we want to make it a Ooh. real course that they would get credit for because no one really teaches how to become yeah. a content creator. <laughs> Actually. That's not a subject not in school. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> but maybe we could help make it become a subject because we would be the domain experts. We would have mm -hmm. testimonials of people who've actually done it. So mm -hmm. we'd be the most qualified to teach it to others. So I don't mean just the concept of the scholarship where we would pay for someone to come here, but I mean actually opening it up to like a school of 20 Mm -hmm. with like two semesters a year that has a whole curriculum for studying to become a content creator and of course all of the practical stuff in between. Mm -hmm. So that could be something we could lead to if this goes well. well hopefully. <laughs> so Goloka will have some thinking to do and of course yeah. we'll have some uh, writing to do to get all mm -hmm. the specifics down but in general, the notion is we would like to hire Glocal to be the person running this video creator school, which we'll have to come up with a cool name for, <laughs> and also extend that to the Pinoy squad yes. so that as a team, they can show us how quickly they can grow with the right support mm -hmm. and the right... Um, funding mm -hmm. to get there sooner because they are there but not everyone is full-time yeah. and they can do a lot more if all of them can work together full-time I think exactly that's the whole point of like it's it, this Pinoy squad thing is more of like a, the collaboration we've always wanted to do we've been playing together for separately uh, but this is that this is a time that we want to really do everything we can and then collaborate and do the craziest things that we want to do just to entertain the people that appreciates our content. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then we would very quickly try to find one or two people that we can extend a scholarship to mm -hmm. that we want to help get to success with probably at least a six month commitment because I don't think it can take less than six months. Yeah, probably. But the goal would be you'd be done when your channel revenue equals what you need to pay your bills so you can do this full time. Or that we feel you're not listening to our advice and we kick you out. So hopefully <laughs> that won't happen. Yeah. But of course we would want to find someone who's committed mm -hmm. and who's going to stay the course. And if you don't, well, we have to find someone else. <laughs> you understand. So, given those general terms, what do you think? So right now, it's uh, what do you call this? I don't really know what to say about it. Like it's all this this news is coming up in my head. It's all jumbled up. But 
the um, but I can see a clear view actually of what George wants to do for you guys and for the future content creators of freedom and uh, what do you call it it's not what do you call this it's it's not gonna involve too much technicalities but uh, what I'm going to teach you if ever is something that the essential stuff the reality if I have to be frank to be frank to you guys or if I have to be uh, yeah, brutally honest with what I need to, uh, to tell you in order to improve your channel, I will. Okay, so I, I'm not saying I'm an expert right now, but um, what do you call it? Uh, I've been watching YouTube for and watch and following a lot of YouTube content creators for as long as I can remember. And uh, I think I have a kind of like a general knowledge of what people actually want to see in order to grow your channel or to get the attention that you need in order to start off and be kind of successful. Right. Well, Gloco is a 40K rank YouTuber <laughs> or teacher. Just like you have a rank in games, well, let's use your subscriber count as the rank you've achieved. So Gloco is a 40K instructor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure we can find more yeah. accurate um, ways to measure Gloco's like expertise level <laughs> compared to others who may become teachers in this video school. But yeah, we, we've we never had anything like this. We've kind of been training people through video only. Yeah. There's no like personal interaction. Uh, but this would be the start of what I hope to become a real video school with real interactions, with like real scholarship programs, with real graduates and helping everybody who wants to do the work to make their dreams come true uh, in less time than it took local yeah so guys good luck to everyone <laughs> and then so are people watching right now i know you guys are hyped up about this but you know uh, i hope you guys still continue what you're doing right now and um if i could give an advice for everyone doing uh starting off or struggling right now just do your research, even if you have to do it on your own. Do not underestimate researching. Also, try not to slack off. <laughs> I know how, how it is whenever you wake up sometimes and then you want to make videos, but sometimes you're lazy about it. Try not to. Try to motivate yourself. Try to discipline yourself. And also, set a goal. I've heard it's really important. Set a goal. And also, advertise like crazy share your stuff around you can have the best content in the world but if nobody's watching it or if you don't let anyone know about it then it's going to be pointless or going to have a hard time so do not underestimate self-advertising and also the most important thing have fun with it okay enjoy yourself i had this uh, because um there was this time i was really frustrated about myself sometimes uh, you when you once you grow or Sometimes you wake up in the morning, oh, I need, I need to make a video, I don't have a video. <laughs> and that, that's not the kind of mindset you have to, in that you need, okay? It's gonna reflect on the video. The, the, your fans, your viewers will see it, that. Okay? So you really need, when you're making a video, make sure you're 100% uh, into it, okay? And, and if you're happy with your video, if you enjoyed your video, then most uh, then most probably your viewers will also enjoy it. Okay, do not be afraid to give your all out personality on your videos because that's your best selling point. All right. All right, we have an audience. So thank you guys for watching this special episode of the George Show, where we've introduced Gloco and an idea to start. A game school, a video school, not just for gaming, but it'll start as gaming because we have gamers here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Gloco also told me he doesn't want to do just gaming content. He wants to do geek culture, anime reviews, tech reviews, things. Like a variety show or something. That's my ultimate goal, actually. <laughs> things that don't yeah. just include gaming. So let's see where we take this, guys. Are you excited for this? Tell us in the comments below. Until next time, who am I? I'm George, CEO and founder of Freedom. <clears throat> Freedom, yeah. And who are you? 
and my name is Glocko. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet. You've been watching. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.